Hi guys, how's it going? How was your day? I hope that you guys are all well and staying warm. It's kind of icky out here with, in Saskatoon. Anyway, but it feels good. We need some rain, so I hope that it'll rain a little bit later. All right, so today I wanted to show you guys um, I'm making a really easy supper in our Tupperware pressure cooker. We're making some meatballs with an oriental um, sauce. So what I have is just some pre-made um, meatballs here. They're frozen and I have them in the base of our pressure cooker. This pressure cooker is max 30 minutes in your microwave. So that is a huge time saver, especially that right now we're in a crunch to get, to get eating. So by six, we're gonna have our meal and everything will be good to go. We're actually making some rice in our rice cooker, Tupperware rice cooker as well, that I have going in the microwave behind me. So super easy peasy, lots of Tupperware going on in our house today. So pressure cooker, lots of safety features on this guy. So the first one is there's this handle. So when you use this handle and you, you click it all the way down, that means that it'll be in the locked position. There is also a little um, pressure indicator here so it'll be standing up like this when you take it out of the microwave and as the pressure decreases it will slowly um, let go and when you know that it you will know that it is depressurized once this little knob here is all the way down and it's safe to open another safety feature that they have is this little um, I guess it's like a can't even find my words right now it's been a long day but um, this little vent I guess to let a bit of steam escape also another another safety feature is when you line up the two little um, triangles here there's a triangle here and a triangle here and what we do is we just we twist oh, I have to unlock it so we twist it on and that's already a locked feature just like that and then we, we apply this down there like that and everything's good to go. So there are lots of safety features on this pressure cooker, as well as this ring. So if ever there would be too much pressure buildup, this ring would automatically fall into your food and depressurize everything. So no explosions, no things going on. You don't have nothing to be scared of. So that's our pressure cooker. So now we have to get our sauce ready. We're all ready to go with this. So we're gonna get a simple sauce going. I decided to just do my sauce in our little chopping prep. It not necessarily needs to be for chopping. I like using it for mixing small sauces, like small doses, right? So our chopping prep comes with these really three, really, really sharp blades. It has a little knob here that you can insert it so it stays into place. And then our cover that we just kind of twist on top and we give it a couple pulls and it mixes or chops or emulsifies or whatever. So for our simple oriental sauce, I have, uh, I'm, I'm decreasing the recipe because it's, it's kind of a larger recipe for sauce, but I'm making it, I'm like having it. So instead of a half a cup um, soy sauce, it's a quarter cup, quarter cup soy sauce. And then it asks for a quarter cup of granulated sugar, but I'm going to just use one eighth of a cup. So I'm using our counterscapes here. I really love the counterscapes because it comes with this cute little spoon, you guys, and it just fits right inside here. And um, it just looks really, really nice. I actually put some coffee grounds in the other one I have. And um, it's just a nice little um, dry container that we can use in our pantry and it looks good. So that should be about good. So I'm going to add that to our mixture. Add my spoon here. And then we are going to add 1 8 of a cup of honey. So I'm going to add that in there. That should be good. Grab my spatula. I love this little guy. I hope they come up with them little bit later love 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 our silicone spatulas so add that in there we are also going to add some vinegar so that's where like the kind of sweet and sour kind of I'm just gonna scrape it on the side a little bit here okay some vinegar so a quarter cup of vinegar 
these are the older style um, measuring cups and spoons, but still works, still good, still Tupperware. And what I really love, you guys, is this ginger and garlic mix. If you've ever tried this, this is amazing. It adds so much flavor. So it's like your ginger and your garlic all mixed into one. So it's it calls for one clove garlic and a half a teaspoon of ginger. But I'm just going to put a half a teaspoon of this yumminess. Maybe a little more because it's so yummy. We love garlic. <laughs> oh, it smells it smells so good, you guys. All right. And then I'm just going to give this a little bit of a mix. Just pull it a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to add, um, I just have like a little mixture of um, some water and some cornstarch. So this will just act kind of as the binder just to make the sauce a little bit more thick. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a mix. It kind of looks like milk, you know. I love that that feeling when you have to kind of scrape the bottom. All right, and we're just going to do it really nice and softly because it is a little full, but it does the trick. So easy. All right. And then you guys, all we do is we take back our pressure cooker, take out our blade here. We'll do it on top of this. And then I'm going to set this down. I like never that. did that for And then we just pour it all on top of our meatballs. Awesome. Use our super duper spatula. Get all that yummy honey that's left on the bottom. Oh, this smells really yummy. You can smell that garlic. Okay, and then we're ready to set it up. So we look for this. Um, triangle and that triangle, line it all up, give it a twist, lock it into place, and then we're ready to go. So I'm going to put this probably about 25 minutes in the microwave, and our rice is cooked. We're going to cook some veggies, super duper easy, yummy peasy um, supper. So meatballs with oriental sauce. I'll try to post a picture later to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, take care guys. Bye-bye.